Good morning, everyone. With you, Dr. Muhammad Saad. I will try to explain today the GCMS. The instrument that we have it's from Shimazu. It's Japanese branch. The instrument consists of three main components. The auto sampler, the one that we have here, is combined the two features for the headspace and Persian trap technique. The main unit that we have is the gas chromatography. It's normal 2010 gas chromatography Shimazu brand beside the MS or the mass spectroscope. As we see here, we have two samplers. This one for the direct inject to the column immediately. And this one, I have to make program for the headspace and the Persian trap technique. Usually this one we are using for the volatile organic compounds, VOCs, SVOCs. And this one for the heavy components like chlorinated hydrocarbon and the synthetic organic compounds. Usually for this technique you have to extract your sample in the proper solvent like hexane or uh, tetrachloro or benzene or, or uh, any other solvent that you can use. And here you can use your sample as it is in the aqueous media like if you want to analyze the VOCs in drinking water or SVOCs in drinking water, wastewater, you can use your sample as it is without any filtration or anything because the sample you will put it in the vial and then the vial will go inside the instrument. It will go through several treatment like shaking, raising temperature and then the sample will be taken from the, this space as a vapor and then it will be injected to the instrument. It will go through the column and then at the end after the all separation it will go through the MS to be determined as each component mass fragmentation based on the fragmentation process. The software, or before the software, the main thing that we have to make sure that the vacuum pumps already on and we have here the filter for the carrier gases. Here we are using the helium and should be dry helium because all of this it will affect on my instrument. If we open here the software that we have its lab solution software. This is the main so software to control the instrument and we can see all the features for that analysis, injection, batch processing, everything from this main software. This part here, especially for the MS or the plasma, this is the vacuum. The vacuum, that means this is very good vacuum and the ionized source is 280. This is for the filament. The source, the temperature of the filament that will be detect the mass spectroscopy. Before doing any analysis, you have to make sure that the tuning is okay. How this tuning is going on? This tuning, the instrument already it has internal standard, already known for the mass. We have all lenses and we have all this determination, so the instrument has to make from time to time, it's better to check your tuning. Maybe you have uh, high moisture, nitrogen, which will affect on the filament and it will affect on your determination for the concentration that you have especially if it's very low concentration see this is the spectrum for the last tuning that we have this 18 mass it's for the h2o like the water and this one for the nitrogen this is 30 so uh, 28 for the nitrogen so make sure that those two peaks are very low this is the peaks profile for the acquisition from this acquisition you have to make your own method to be to determine the uh, components that we have. Here, as we said, we have two components. If you are going to use the headspace, it has its own software for the auto sampler. Here, as we see, this is the open temperature, the initial temperature, and then the sample line temperature. The sample line temperature and you can change everything for the cooling temperature. This program you have to make, like for the VOCs analysis, the sample will be taken to the, uh, the oven. It will be raised the temperature up to 60 or 80. All the volatile organic compounds will be transferred from the aqueous layer to the vapor layer here in the sample vial. It will be in this part. So that's mean by the injector when it will take the sample, it will go through the column. That means you have the VOCs analysis, uh, the VOCs components. So after doing all of this, you have to make like sequence. The sequence, 
this is for the H2S bad batch editor. Here I will mention start from which file, end with which file. This is the analysis method mode. It's regular. This is the batch or the method file. The method that you will make, like this is trap, this is for the VOC loop. If you open this, it will take the method from here, like this is for the loop VOCs. This is all the parameter that we have for the VOCs analysis. So the auto sampler, it will make you can insert or add more, insert row how many samples you have, you can add it here and mention the sample the same method and then by make save and then it will edit the method from the other software you have to make like start here we have to make our own method if you are using like the first we will I will explain the other method each one in separate video thank you